Okay, in this demonstration I'm going to show you how to uh, do some dimensioning. Now the first thing I'm going to do is just throw a rectangle in, so R for rectangle, R for rectangle, and I'm just going to draw a quick rectangle. Now over here at the bottom um, you're going to see that it has a uh, <clears throat> dimension. Um, you know what, I'm going to do something else too while we're at it. Control Z. You may find, I'm going to zoom way out here, you may find that when you first um, draw something, it's really big. So, like that's you know five or fifty thousand, uh, you know seven hundred and seventy-one thousand seven hundred seventy-six feet. So that means I'm zoomed way out here. Um, so the point I'm going to make here is, let's say I draw a rectangle, and I'm going to tell it I want it fifteen inches, comma fifteen inches. Watch what happens. You can't even see it. So what you need to do is zoom in. Well, we'd be spending forever trying to zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Or you could hit this little tool up here for zoom extents. Boom, takes you right down to it. So then, if you zoom out, and we'll shift and mouse wheel over here to get that pan down. Uh, you could also hit this if the pan doesn't work for you. But anyway, spacebar to get the selection tool back. Um, that should be a 15 by 15 inch um, square, if you will. And we'll test that in just a minute. But first, I'm going to hit P for push pull. I'm going to click on the top and I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to hit 15 inches and hit enter. So, what we should have here, and I'm going to zoom out a little bit, hit spacebar to get rid of that push pull tool, and I'm going to orbit around and I should see a perfect cube. And it looks pretty darn close. So, um, let's do some dimensioning. So, the way we do dimensioning is just like this. I'm going to go up to tools. Whoop tools and dimensions and then I'm going to click on one endpoint and then another endpoint down here and then I'm going to just move my mouse so I just clicked clicked and then drag my mouse out and you can see as I drag it out it gives me a dimension of one foot three inches now this really depends on how you have uh, SketchUp set up if you um, change the um, you know the settings as far as how your, uh, your measurements are going to go it, it would change that but one foot three inches that's 12 inches of course plus three inches it's 15 inches so if we want to say 15 inches all I do is double click on it and I can change it to 15 inches enter and there you have it so we still have our dimension tool um, active so I'm gonna go ahead and click here click here and move it out now one thing to note if you Sometimes you'll move it down there on the blue axis. Well, we want it out here. So you just just kind of depends on how you move your mouse. So there's one foot three inches there. Again, double click, 15 inches, enter, and there's my 15 inches. Now I'm going to rotate around here. Whoop! I'm rotate around, and I'm going to dimension this part right here. So dimension this to there, and I'm going to go out to the side. Click there, and again, you see it's one foot three inches, 15 inches, and we're in good shape. So that is how I dimension just a simple cube 15 by 15 by 15. Now let's say we're going to do a circle. C for circle. We're going to just draw a quick little circle here. Um, we'll make the radius something really weird. We'll just do something random. Three and three quarters. There we go. Okay now I'm going to go P for push pull and I'm going to bring it up and we'll just go something weird like sure we'll get something like that. One foot one and three eighths inches. Okay so I'm going to zoom in on this to get a better look. Now I go up to tools, dimensions, Hit space bar here to make sure I'm good. Tools, dimensions, excuse me. All right. So a couple of things happen. If I move my mouse and you'll see that blue, um, that top of the cylinder is blue now. If I click on that once and just kind of drag it out a little bit, it tells me the diameter of this is seven and a half inches. I'm like, okay, that's fine. How about the height of the cylinder? Well, if I move my mouse like this, you can see it just over the edge there it turns blue, right? Like that. If you do that and click, and then just pull it out like that it tells me this is one foot one and three eighths inches which is what we expected from the measurement we got down here now one cool thing is let's say I don't want the diameter to be labeled let's say I want the radius no problem right click type radius and there you see the radius is exactly half of the diameter which is in this case three and three quarter inches again a really weird measurement but as you rotate around you can see that so again you got a cylinder you got this happening, and um, and we're in pretty good shape. One more thing I'm going to show you real quick. Let's go R for rectangle, and I'm just going to draw a rectangle on this edge. P for push-pull, 
and I'm gonna just push something in here real quick, just to just to kind of play around with it. Let's go, let's go even even further in here, really get messy with it. Okay, let's say I want the dimensions of that. Real simple. I go up and make sure my dimensions are on. I go from here to here, and then move my mouse up. Again, I'm I'm just clicking. Let me undo that for a second. Oop. Redo that. So dimension tool on. I'm gonna go click just once, click again, and then move that up. So this is exactly, and then click there, 9 and 15 sixteenths of an inch. Told you, really random value. All right, and if I wanted to dimension this, click and click and go up like that, that is going to be 6 and a half inches. So that gives me a nice dimension right like that. Okay, so that's how you dimension, real simple. Uh, never know when that's going to come in handy. You're certainly going to want to label things. Um, and your instructor will probably want to see some labeling on tests and quizzes so they can, and he can check the accuracy of this. So that's it. That's how you um, do some dimensioning. Hope it works out for you.